All right, what's up, trendsetter gang? I am doing a color palette. So I'm going to be working on a blue color palette today um, with LA Colors. And I'm going to do the teal green and the dark blue. And I'm going to try to get a pinkish purplish color. I'm still working on that, but I'll figure it out as we go. Um, so let's get started. Let me do some foundation. I am bare face. I just, you know, put some conditioner on my face um, and clean my face and all that good stuff. Sorry, y'all, I'm wearing a house coat because I'm getting the chills again. I just was, I told y'all I was fighting something, but sometimes when you fight something, um, it seems like it wants to try to come back and I am determined that it's not going to come back. So whatever I got to do to keep it at bay. Now this house coat ain't going to keep it at bay. Obviously I'm going to have to do way more than put a house coat on, but after this video, yeah, I'm going to be, uh, taking a chill pill because I got to get up early. So, all right. Well, actually, I won't be taking a chill pill. I got a seafood video to do after this, so um, you guys look out for that. So I am working from my 110 L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte, my usual. And I'm going to also use... <coughs> From this, this is LA Colors too. I'm sorry, y'all. I got LA Colors and everything. Okay, so this is the LA Colors Earth Tone Palette. I'm going to be using the white on my eyes as a primer as I used before. That's a little trick that I learned, you know. <clears throat> if you don't have any primer, you can always, uh, you know, substitute, get your little white eyeshadow and, uh, that's just a little trick that I do. If you don't have everything that you need, that will come. Because y'all know makeup is very, 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 very expensive. And I don't have everything at LA Colors. I just like some stuff at LA Colors. Not everything, but. For the most part, yeah. I'm going to do less talking in this video. I always say that. I can't help it. I'm a talker, but I'm going to try to announce to you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to try to make it as quick as I possibly can. I'm going to do something for the eyebrows. Um, I don't... I got a black pencil, but I like to use a brown one. So I'm going to just use the brown eyeshadow that I have as a trick because I don't know where my brown one is. And I don't feel like searching for it, y'all. That's too much. Now, sometimes I put foundation on my eyes and sometimes I don't because it can be a bit much when it dries. I feel like the makeup gets into my eye. I don't know what everybody else feels about it, but I really don't like it. And sometimes you can put a little foundation on your lips. If you have dark lips, it's up to you. Sometimes I do that. And sometimes I don't. Since I have a little cold sore on my lip, I just... I put a little something on. And this is why you don't you get your own makeup brush and your own beauty blender sponges. I don't recommend using anybody's um makeup sponge or brushes um for sanitary reasons. What you use on your face should just be for your face only. I, I just I just don't believe in it. I think is, you know, you gotta, these days people have like flesh eating bacteria and stuff. So 
I feel like that's the most sanitary thing you can do besides washing your brushes and keeping them clean. Don't let no don't let nobody else use your brushes. And if you do let them use it, you probably need to clean them and sanitize them before you put it on your face, but I'm not going to do that. You just going to have to get your own brush and that's just how I roll cuz I just don't believe in it. The only person that will probably use my brush or my brushes is my daughter. And that's because she don't wear makeup all the time. I probably feel comfortable doing it with her because she knows that I clean my brushes. She watches um, me do that. So that's what's cool right there. Okay. I'm about to be out of foundation. I got to get ready to re-up on that. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to put a little bit of brown on here for my eyebrows. And this is me improvising. I like a brown. A lot of people do black. I feel like black is real dark. But I love a brown. Oops. I love a brown stick. A brown stick, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. It just works. Okay, my spoolie brush, this ain't the one I wanted, but I'm going to just work that. Mm. Now, we're going to use the white for two different things. We're going to use it as a primer, and we're going to use it as a highlight, and I'm going to show you how, so pay, show you how, so play, pay close attention to what I do because I might not do a lot of talking for this because this is a two fold process okay I'm just showing y'all all my little tricks okay I got some fluffy laying everything out and I still I'm still looking for stuff I think that's just I'm gonna be doing that I think that's just gonna be a part of it okay please let this be it no that's not it okay so anyway I'm gonna use another brush I was looking for my little fluffy white tip brush but I can't seem to find it so hey we're gonna use we're gonna use oh you know what I already told y'all I could use my fingers though okay one of my nails came off this finger so it's easy to do it I I got if when I got fingernails on it's kind of hard to do it so again, you're using the white from the LA Colors Earth Tone makeup palette. Just using the white so the, the colors will show up crisp and bright. Okay, so now we're going to make this be, we're going to have this as the highlighter. Now, 
I usually take a little, I can take a little concealer and clean up my eyebrows, but I'm not doing that today. Maybe I'll do that for y'all another time. I did it before for you guys where I took, I'm going to make the highlight, the highlight is going to be a little bit darker, okay? Okay, you see how the highlighter is much darker there? Okay. All right. And I'm going to brush out the bottom just so it would look a little bit more fainter than it are, it's already looking because that's all we need right there. Okay, so now you can see the difference where it's lighter at the bottom and it's, it's you know, highlighted at the top, okay? But you, the white is still there to pop the colors. See, so you just use it for a highlighter and a primer. All right. And this is when you don't have, you can do this when you can't find your stuff. You can do this when you, you your money's a little funny, it's a little tight, do a highlight <clears throat> and use it as a primer. <clears throat> but again, my mom was a makeup artist, so I learned a lot of tricks. All right, so um, now we're getting ready to apply this um, teal green color. Okay, so we're going to do, I think I'm going to do, We're going to do the teal green color on the inside of the eye and toward the one third of the eye, we're going to do the blue, okay? So let's get started with that. This is showing up a little bit darker. Maybe I should have used the lighter one. And I'm going to try to put, let's see, let's do a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of this light green on there because I just feel like the other one is a tad bit darker than I wanted it to be. So, yeah, I'm kind of mixing it. Okay. Oh, and then so we're gonna do the blue at the um the tail end of the eye, or, or you can call it one third part, one third half. And that's why I just spread it out because it's getting lighter, so it's not gonna affect my blue. Uh let me put a little bit more toward this way. Alright. Okay, and then now we're going to do the blue. So, yeah, I'm using my fingers, y'all. I mean, sometimes I like to do the brush, but I, I believe that, you know, and I've seen other makeup makeup tutorials, they do it, they use their fingers. Like, if you really know what you're doing, you can use your fingers, and then you can become one with your face. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is our face. We have to become comfortable with it, and I just believe in that. You know what I'm saying? Like... That's what it is. Okay, so now we're going to carefully apply this blue. I call it making a little V at the corner. Okay. And we're going to take the little brush and um, bellow out the lines on it
and we're gonna bring the blue down just a little bit around the eye. And don't worry about it. Again, if we need to clean it up, we can and we will. Okay. Okay. So you see how we have the white at the top and the white is going to get smaller because we're going to bellow out. We're going to bellow out these lines. Okay, and let's see. And so we're going to get a little pink going on. I'm going to, where's that other? Mm, maybe I'll do. Oh, here we go. We can do a little pink with this one. We can bellow out some pink. Um, I think I'm going to do like a purpley color. Maybe I can do a purpley. Remember I said we can clean it up. Y'all, I'm drinking some kombucha. For those that don't know what it is, it has live cultures in it. It's good for the hoo-ha, and um, it's healthy for you. It's like a um, fermented tea. You can get it from Earth Fair. We'll talk about that in our next video because I'll actually be drinking it while I'm doing the seafood boil. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of a purple. And this is the closest I can get because I don't have a... The other purple I got has got a lot of glitter in it. And I just don't think it'll work out. All right, so we're going to buff this out, buff it out.
And y'all, this is my mermaid color, y'all. This is my mermaid color, honey. Mermaid colors, let me say. Okay, so we're just blowing out the blue and the green, and we're going <clears> to <throat> blow out the purple. Did I bring, I got to bring this blue down here. Y'all, so I got like one, two, three, four, five. I got five colors on my eyes, so. All right, let's see. Okay, so I think we done. Let me blow this out. Okay. And then now we're going to do, I'm going to put a little white inside of the eye, inside of the corners of the eyes. You can always get some foundation and clean it up. And you know, you can try to erase it with the tissue. Sometimes it'll make it worse, but uh, if it does, just get your foundation and do what you do. Okay, so we got everything together. So I think I'm like I told y'all, y'all know I like to go with the new lip. So let me do the new thing. Jesus, 
This is LA Colors. I told y'all I'm out of this, but I'm scraping. I'm a scraper. I'm a mixer. I do a lot of tricks. Uh, can y'all see the purple a little bit? The blue, the green, and the white? And the last thing I'm going to do with the last two things, you know I'm getting ready to do that. I'm getting ready to do my highlighter, and then I'm going to do my eyes and my bat wings. Okay. So you got a new lip with all those colors. You can do whatever, like I said. Makeup, I love makeup because there are so many possibilities. You can just take it. To the next level, you can go crazy. I'm a unicorn when it comes to makeup. Huh? <laughs> because I like for my makeup to stand out. Um, and so whatever that means, that means I may not play by the rules all the time. You know what I mean? And that's okay. Okay, so y'all know the highlighter. Here we go with the highlighter. And again, since I got a bang, I really don't have to do the highlighter around the eye. That you know, that's if you got a ponytail and your hair is pretty much off of your face. But you know, I'm just doing it for the sake of video. I really don't have to because that part is going to be covered. See what I'm saying? All right. Okay, so we got the highlighter down. Um, so now we're getting ready to now we're getting ready to do this highlighter. I mean, I'm gonna put some about highlighter. What am I talking about? This time, I'm going to do my cat eye first before I put on my lashes. Some people do that, and I've done that, but I don't really like to do it. But uh, I'm not going to say I don't like to do it. Let me stop saying what I don't like because I try a lot of stuff to be saying I don't like stuff. Uh, I just, I, by habit, we're creatures of habit. So by habit, I just do it. And follow the lash line. That's a habit. But uh,
Okay. Okay, so we just gonna leave it right there. I don't wanna do too much. Cause then I'll be So I didn't do the um let me get some gold, y'all, and put it in the center of my eyes. Uh this one is too blowy out. I need a skinny one. Is this what it's worth? Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna do a real tiny one right here. This little brush right here. I think that ought to do it. Okay, so you got your little bit of a highlighter in the corner. Um, I'm going to clean this up, and then I'm going to put a little bit of highlighter up here on that white. You see what I'm saying? That'll bring it out a little bit. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. And I'm not supposed to be feeling like doing this, but it's amazing what you can do when you don't feel well. Or uh, when you under pressure, should I say? And I'm, I feel like I'm under pressure to do my best video all the time. But when I'm not feeling well, I have a tendency to just be like, and I think this is everybody like, forget about it. <laughs> so, I just love you guys so, so, so much. Okay. So, you know, you put your highlighter right here in the corner of the eye and take a little bit of gold. Just go over that white. See that? Look at that. It's really just right here in the, in the dip of the brow. Just to add a little. Now I'm using another gold just to add a little highlight to it. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. It's all kind of tips and tricks that you can use to make those eyes pop. You see the green, you see the teal green, the blue, the purple, the white, and the gold on top of the white. Come on, y'all. Let's do it. 
So you can count how many colors it is. Let me see. Two, three, four, five, six. That's six. Okay, let's work it out. Let's work it out. Okay. So now we're going to do, we're going to put the lashes on. Hello. And these lashes have about had it, but you know, they is they doing what they need to do, honey. They so good. I can get the I can squeeze the life out of a lash. Trust me. I really can. I think I want to pull out some of my old faithfuls and see what's gonna happen with them. Are these my little old faithfuls, y'all? Yep, these my old faithful um lashes. I done had these forever. These are mink lashes, 25 mm. You usually have to cut them because they so long. But I like these lashes. They fan out. They're fluffy and they're soft. I'm gonna start back wearing those and, and purchasing them because. I've been getting some out of the store, and they are all right for every day, but sometimes I like to have my lashes to be like, <sighs> yes, I like, uh-oh, I got glue on my lip. Yes, I like dramatic lashes. I had to put these up because, you know, one of my jobs, I can wear it like this. I can wear it at any job, but sometimes I don't like to put these on. I feel like it's, it's, it's too much sometimes. 
Uh, I don't want to wear these. I, these are my favorite lashes, but I don't want to wear them every single day. See what I'm saying? Because, I mean, they are dramatic, but I'm a dramatic, like my daughter says, I'm dramatic and I'm extra. Y'all probably seeing that. Y'all probably see more of that. Uh, let's see. I had cleaned the lashes and um, they just this one right here kept a weird shape. I don't know what was going on with that one. Okay. See you guys. See, I got the blue under my eyes and the meat so y'all can really get a look. So this is my mermaid look, y'all. I'm going to let y'all see it with my hair down because when I do this next video, I'm probably going to have it up, I'm thinking. See? Boo, y'all. That's the mermaid tutorial. Wow. Well, well. Trendsetter gang. Trendsetters. Trendsetter. Trendsetters. Come on, y'all. Come on through. Trendsetter gang. Let's do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I love my eyes. I be getting so excited. I don't know if y'all get excited when y'all do y'all makeup, but makeup does this for me every time, okay? I may not show it all the time, but I am like a kid in the candy store. I love it because it's the thing that gets me out of my comfort zone. I can always try new things and I'm not I'm actually not afraid to try new things. You got people that are so afraid to try so many different things. And I don't even have all the colors that I want, so trust me, I'm going to get them. Trust me, because one of my jobs is a makeup place, and we're going to talk about that later. But I don't want to talk about it right now, because um, we have plenty of time to talk about it. And I'm going to be debuting some palettes soon, so um, stay tuned. Stay tuned. And again, if it's anything you guys want to see me do, please respond down in the comments below because I want to do something that maybe y'all haven't seen. I don't want to bore y'all. I want to give you more creative tutorials, especially more colorful ones because I love color. 
I just, I, I have to get out of my zone because sometimes I don't use a lot of color because I'm always trying to keep a professional image. And I mean, this is professional at a makeup job, but you know, sometimes that doesn't go over well in other jobs. So, you know, that's what it is. I love you guys. Um, Stay tuned for more videos, for new videos every week. Trendsetter gang, I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, do not forget to click that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a new video. And stay tuned for the next video because I am going to do a trendsetter seafood boil. So, stay tuned. It's going to be some good food. It's going to be some good food. Some good food. Y'all know I love to eat. Y'all know I love to eat. Hey, Y'all know I love to eat. Y'all know I love to eat. So stay tuned for the next video. Mm, mm, mm. I love you, Trendsetter Gang. I love you, I love you, and I see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Bye.